We've gotten a new Star Citizen Alpha 3.23 patch to the Evocati through the EPTU branch and we're going straight into it. This time around there's just a few changes here on the features of gameplay in the location category. They've done a polished pass to water. It says here we have completely reworked the wave simulation and rendering of all water in Star Citizen in addition to creating a new multi-scale region based water surface simulation system. Oceans and water volumes are now affected by all physical objects as well as focuses from thruster and ship wake. Costs are still reworked to be both faster and driven by the dynamic results of the new water simulation. Underwater fog has been reworked to resolve various rendering issues and the appearance of water when intersecting the cameras has been vastly improved. Updated water interaction to react to explosions and fixed missing river UVs. So now as I was reading through this, I was just uh, remembering about dynamic weather. Once they have dynamic weather implemented and the winds and storms happening and how that affects the water, that's going to be really cool to see. I wonder if the weather will actually impact the way the weather, the water um, behaves. And uh, that would be interesting to see if they intend to take it um, that far, take the tech that far. So we'll have to see. Under the AI category, it says new fauna copian. I covered a bit of copian um, in the leaks video. Um, but this one says here, it says the copian is a four-legged hound-like creature that resides in savanna, snow, desert, and cave biomes. This creature is not hostile when alone and will retreat to the nearest copian if it exists. Although afraid of humanoids when done, the copian tends to roam in packs which will cause the pack to become hostile to creatures they encounter where they will use their sharp claws and teeth to do multiple melee attacks which includes biting and pouncing at their targets interesting so for those that do intend to hunt copian it's going to be interesting once you see them in a pack you just know that you're going to be in trouble but if you find one alone he's not going to be that hostile so that's uh, interesting to know so now the next creature is mayrock it says here mayrock is a bird like creature with a long beak and bat like wings in part of the void bird old object family with flocking behavior they are not hostile to humanoid and their flocks will disperse when approached the mayrock are native to savannas snow deserts and cave biomes and come in multiple feature colors that suit their environment interesting what's interesting about both of these creatures that i just mentioned is the fact that they have valuable resources but most likely going to be valuable resources that you can extract from them once you i think kill them or um, maybe they may drop it maybe the may rock the may rock i think drops um some um gem but i'm not sure if you need to kill them to get those gems right so um we'll have to see but the copian i think you have to kill them to get uh, i think the, the the horns are of value so um so that's uh but we'll have to see we'll have to see what we what they do once we get our hands with on um 3.23 so now under the gameplay category, they made a few updates. It says Moby Glass UI Polish Pass, Shopping AR UI. They added pedestals for shopping vehicles. They added EVA grenade throwing animations. Uh, that's the new EVA tier two. And also the health widget icon will now default back to zero if no present damage. So now under Core Tech, they added currently used graphics renderer to the display info. In the bug fix category, they fixed an issue where a message wouldn't appear after the chat closes then reopens. They fixed an issue where the nose remote turret is missing from the hall C. They fixed another issue where magazines are not used from the backpack when weapons run out of ammo. They fixed an issue where feature library heads are hidden when re-entering customizer. This is for the character customizer. They fixed an issue where a player is unable to store items in vehicle external inventory using the loot screen. So now this is for all vehicles. They fixed an issue where new style missions, location HUD AR markers have placeholder text. 
they fixed an issue where the hair length is not updating after randomization they fixed an issue where rotating the player character in try on mode is very difficult they fixed another issue where in hair session player models and libraries bus can rotate unsynced and they also fix an issue where floating debris found on the ocean near Lorville extends beyond the shoreline onto the land. Along with this is nine client crash fixes as well as seven server crash fixes. Just to let y'all know my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and catch you guys on the next video.